How's that for VIP penis? Good morning, everybody. Hot Rod Power Tour, here we go, 2022. Uh, day four. We are just south of Hoover. Uh, and we, we snuck a little bit of extra mileage in yesterday to make today a little bit easier to drive. Um, unfortunately, there was also a crazy random thunderstorm that ran, that ran into us. Um, and the car is a bit wet. Uh, they were nice enough here at the Spring Hill Suites to allow me to park um, in the, you know, VIP vestibule area. And you can tell that it's quite humid because my camera is already fogging up. There we go. Let's go ahead and clear that up. Uh, so my seats are a little wet, <clears throat> but you know, that's just another challenge. When you don't have a roof, it's part of the challenge. Anyway, short blast today. Uh, a little less than 200 miles down to Pensacola. Um, should be reasonably uneventful. We're going to run and grab fuel here real quick. We're going to get on the road. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this trip so far. Uh, day two videos up, day three videos up. Um, we're still trying to crank out those daily videos. Uh, I do apologize, they are a little slower because our internet access in some of the hotels has been a little rough. So, um, anyway, Jim's grabbing the Pontiac from around the corner. I'm gonna get this thing started up. We're gonna get the heck out of here. So, stay tuned. Get on the road. Ah, oh, seats are a little wet. Even with the roof over us, uh, it was quite windy and quite stormy last night. So, we're gonna be driving with a wet backside for a while just starts right up buddy just starts right up hear that AMC 304 rumble did check the coolant levels and Pontiac's just a skosh low maybe about a cup or so uh, Jim noticed that we're missing our coolant overflow can yeah our monster so fortunately being the industrious young man that Jim is Get a bush latte in there. Thanks to Kevin of Junkyard Digs for the uh, bush latte. That way we can keep our coolant overflow can situation fixed. All right, folks, fire them up, find a gas station, get the heck out of here. Ready to roll? I was gonna get my sleeves cut off, but they didn't have no scissors in the hot in the hotel. I have so a knife in the car. We're gonna have to get a little surgery going on here shortly. Fair enough. All right, gas station, ho. Seems like no matter how early we plan on trying to get on the road. It just doesn't happen. It's 11 o'clock again. We are just not good at this. In my defense, it is because I'm trying to get these dang videos done. Uh, I got the day three video edited. It's finished, it's rendered, it's ready to go. Unfortunately, it was gonna take an hour and a half to upload it at the hotel, and that's just not happening. I'm not leaving the hotel at 12.30, so. I don't know when you're gonna see that video, but you'll hopefully have seen that video before you see this video. I'm just making excuses as far as why I'm leaving late, okay? Got me some Jim and Nick's last night, which was delicious. Haven't had Jim and Nick's since I lived in Charlotte, and uh, there's just, just something about it. On a cool startup with the Le Mans, as you may know, this car does not have choke. Uh, so I have mastered two foot driving uh, in order to uh, both keep it running and uh, make our way or and, and start moving. player shades got my sleeves cut off thanks to the nice lady at circle k time to point this thing south here we go pensacola all right we are a few 
fueled up and on the road. Uh, you may notice uh, instead of sun's out, gun's out today, I'm going a little bit more conservative. It's uh, <laughs> it, It's been a little toasty and I still neglected to get sunblock. So in order to keep myself a little bit less crisp, I felt it was a good time to bust out the baseball team.
ridiculousness while, uh, while we're at it. More dead power tours. We are about an hour into the drive so far. AMC is just humming right along, doing what it does. A little 304 V8. Cranking out a good tune. Four speed manual. Holding me at way too high RPMs. I'm only getting like 13, 14 miles a gallon in this thing. Because we are running pretty good speeds. Um, a little bit out of the normal efficiency range of this transmission with this gearing. So. You know, I could be getting better fuel economy. Also, this is a mechanical secondary carburetor, so I'm running at the point where my, my secondaries are still dripping fuel in, so I am kind of wasting a little bit of fuel. But, by running a little bit rich and using a little extra fuel in there, that does tend to cool the air charge down, which can also help me stay cooler. So, I may be sacrificing some fuel efficiency, but I'm having no issues with overheating, so. Pontiac is doing just fine, 455 is humming right along. Interestingly, it's getting almost identical fuel economy in that 455, or 461 cubic inches versus this one. But, whatever, we're having fun. We're also hot. It, like just one day without a crazy slowdown. Just one day. <laughs> Couple fellow long haul power tours with us. Seem to have a weird issue with uh, milestones in this car. As I am approaching 1,200 miles of windshield time, we hit traffic again. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm cursed. I think the last one was right around 1,000 miles. Um, yeah, 
it's it's a bit frustrating. I'm also realizing that essentially now through Saturday I have to put that same amount of miles if not more on this car just to get home and uh, percent while this is a, a test of the endurance of the car it is a test of the endurance of the driver too I am I mean I'm not physically spent I'm not mentally whipped yet but it ultimately to, to say the heat's getting to me a little bit. Yeah, 100% it is. I'm getting a little worn out. puts it glowing no Emily you're you're a beautiful woman you can be glowing when you're hot and overheating this is not glowing oh a house a house is why we're stuck
Hot, hot, hot highway blast is done. Lordy, lordy, lordy. It is hot. Try the little uh, throw water bottle across from one car to the other. That, that, that didn't work. That didn't work. Almost. Didn't work. part of our power tour that we haven't been able to show you guys so far on this trip and the part that gets 
a little crazy. So part of Power Tour is the highways and byways of America, going through small towns and the way that things used to be back before the interstate system. Well, the idea at that point is you don't get on the dang interstates, right? So you go through the small towns and things. Unfortunately, small towns mean small towns. So they have things like stoplights and they have things like traffic and they have two lane roads or four lane roads if we're lucky and 35 mile an hour speed limits. And uh, <laughs> shoving four or 5,000 hot rods down the throat of a small town with a couple of stoplights and one gas station can get a little tricky. But it is kind of fun because you end up with people on the side of the road basically shutting down their day to watch all the hot rods come over the fence, which is a pretty cool thing. You're kind of in a parade. It is, however, not exactly great on cooling the car down. Welcome to Florida. There's a Napa. Hey, look, some power tour cars outside. Hey, look, another power tour car. Well, welcome to Florida. We have made it. We're almost done driving further away from home. Let's just not think about the fact that we have to turn around and drive this exact same route that way. We're just not gonna talk about it. We are officially in Florida. Woohoo! Not gonna knock uh, Alabama really at all because one it was a beautiful place lots of really friendly folks there and we've got to drive back through there to get to Atlanta it does always remind me of my favorite Alabama joke but I don't think I'm going to share that one today I'll, I'll tell you when you're older this is cool this is the part of the tour that I've been waiting for uh, something that I've wanted to see and and now we're finally in one of those convoys of of these awesome awesome people who have stuck it out like we have I've seen so many of the stickers the long haul gang so it's really cool to see all these folks out here that are doing this long haul you may have seen in yesterday's video uh, Austin had met up with a, a guy from Washington State and uh, Austin actually got to sign his sun visor which I thought was really really neat but yeah the, the draw of this tour is pretty cool I wish I could keep this camera rolling all the time just talking to people at gas stations talking to people last night grabbing dinner everyone just seems so interested it's good to know that the car culture hasn't died we're finally reaching the point where seeing kids along the side of the road waving and smiling and uh, pointing out cars so it's for me as a car guy this is probably one of the greatest experiences you can ever do especially being able to see that there's still passion even among the youth because the next generation is what's going to continue to carry this on uh, as we talk about the future we talk about electric cars and so forth I really hope that somewhere in there there will always be space for the internal combustion engine um, because I would really hate to see all of this amazing history just die. Sorry, that, that went a little dark. Woo, doggy, it's hot. It's real hot. Uh, according to that sign back there, we are 42 miles from Pensacola. But we're also only doing about 35, 40 miles an hour, so it's 
could take a while. Now, again, we're just gonna hope these small towns are ready for us and let us come through. Hey, look, a bunch more power tours. <laughs> we come in for your city. Like another one down and a whole bunch helping. Good job, guys. That's how we do it in Power Tour. Good job. to see here just a random stop in the middle of nowhere Florida 
whole bunch of hot rods just just chilling. Officially in line to get in line to get into the venue and unfortunately this is also where your cooling system really becomes a question now this has been stated before I'll state it again the AMX is perfect it's got no problems in fact just because Coolant says it's nuclear. It's not. It's not. It's just not. It's fine. If it, if it overheats, it'll it'll let you know. It'll spit coolant at you or blow the hood off or something. But it is freaking hot, and uh, it is the middle of the day, like two o'clock in the afternoon. So you know when it gets the hottest the best time to hang out on blacktop with all your rowdy friends. Pensacola, where we 
at red lights. Alrighty, we have just passed I-10 on something Forest Road. Uh, or, yeah, something like that. It is uh, toasty, to say the least, and humid. So humid and toasty, definitely a uh, fun combination. Yeah. Little ice up in the head. We gotta cool this off though. Uh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's, it's real nice. easier for you with hair. <laughs> Mustang already took the hood off. Alright, that might be a little too long. Oh, on your bare scalp? I yeah. bet it is. Yeah, on, on the bare scalp, that's just it's a, little, a little chilly. Well, this should be our final uh, splash of fuel. Jim's probably with you were probably a half a tank. Uh, yeah, I put in not even 10 gallons. Yeah, so he was at like a half a tank. I was at a little less than a quarter of a tank. But we wanted to get fuel. That way we can turn and burn as fast as we possibly can. So when today is over, I think the idea is to start heading back into uh, Alabama. And then we'll see how far we get. Before we burn part right on the turn. Guns. Oh, yeah, that, that guns good. Guns are getting cooked. Yeah. Uh, mostly mostly the one gun. Anyway, let's get into the damn show already. Well, we have officially made it on site. It is 2.33 in the afternoon. It is hot as Hades out here. It's kind of the theme of the show. Hot as Hades. Uh, we're gonna rumble our way onto the midway here momentarily as soon as we can figure out how to actually get there And not run over any of you lovely attendees See if we can find the DEI booth <laughs> We're still making it <laughs> Good, man. Oh lordy It is hot. I need some shade need to find some shade that's a cool little event here I like this spot yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna cruise on across this grass little infield here this is nice I like this well there you go ladies and gentlemen the AMX and the Pontiac have landed in Pensacola Oh, hanging out with the DEI guys again today for the afternoon. And we got a great parking spot here. Because they put Luke Thunderhead 289 here right next to us. And he has apparently stuck with the biscuits for the cooling system and added a seashell <laughs> for distribution. Uh, all right. Uh, find ourselves some shade, pop some hoods. Let these little suckers cool down a little bit. We'll wander around the show and see what's what. How you guys doing? You guys have shade. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> no, you need shade. We yeah. have shade. You need shade. You got a headache about a day. Oh, yeah. I still, we still have like 800 miles to get home still. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to get any cooler. Yeah, so do we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Cruising in comfort. He's got room and a roof. Yeah, we, we take turns. One of us sleeps in the back of the air. Ah! <laughs> Not fair. So this was an e trick. Uh, if you recall our catch can from this morning, it has made its way right on top of the spark plug wires. That is super hot down there. So. Yay! On the plus side, we do have these great DEI wire wraps. They're at least keeping the wires cool. You're on YouTube. I am. You're gonna be. I'm going to. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> these cars are both gonna be on YouTube. Which one's your favorite one? Uh, I don't know. I like them both. That's a good answer. I like them both. This one's louder, does better burnouts. That one's weirder and cooler. 
Wait, is it smaller? Yes. Like temperature wise? No, definitely. Well, what? maybe. I mean, it technically. Possibly. Technically, yes, that one is cooler because that doesn't overheat and this one does. <laughs> okay, then I kind of want to. I would pick that one to drive. There you go. Young man understands. The AMX is cooler. All right, so I am time and date stamping this. It is Thursday, June 16th, 2022 at 3.28 p.m. And Austin has committed, committed next year. He's going to be bringing the 67 Impala, which is currently in pieces. Pieces. That's now on camera, huh? This is now documented. I'm going to hold you to it. Got out for a little bit. We're going to see what we got here. You know that I'm a sucker for a wagon. So, of course, first thing that catches my eye. Sure, you know that I'm looking at a turbo Buick now. Oh, well, this is not stock in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we have a giant turbo here. We also have a V8. Uh, for those of you in the know, this would have come with a 3.8 liter V6. That was a single turbo. Uh, and highly underrated at 280 horsepower. I can promise you, this one puts out a whole heck of a lot more than that. Make a trip and fall on the eBay Motors main stage, one and a half million hits on YouTube, you never know. What is your name? And just to help, or where are you from? See, here's the cool thing. It, what you're gonna find out here isn't just trailer queens. You've got a lot of work in progress cars. You got a lot of cars that uh, people are in the process of building or that they're just in the mood to show off. Uh, this Mustang clearly not in its greatest condition, but it does have a late 80s, early 90s, five liter high output swap out of what we commonly refer to as the Fox body Mustang. Uh, the body clearly has seen better days, but it it's here. Uh, it's a good looking car. I am definitely a fan. SS, nice Challenger. Also a big fan of a square body GM truck, so uh, this is a really clean looking custom deluxe. Just lowered, short bed, factory hubcaps, aftermarket wheels. Uh, really can just tell you that because of the size of the wheel itself is a little bit larger. Those look like uh, 16s or maybe even 17s. She's going All right, this thing's pretty cool. From Forest at Mothers. Uh, sweet patina.com. Oh, our friends that got us our sticker. Uh, that is amazing. And this tent on top is super cool. Super, super cool. It looks like they take this car everywhere. Well, folks, let's stick a fork in uh, Pensacola. Good day here at Hot Rod Power Tour, day four. Uh, Jim and I both made it perfectly fine. No real issues with the AMC or with the Pontiac. Everything is good to go. Uh, the only thing we're really ever battling at all really is when we stop the Pontiac sitting idling, it does tend to get a bit hot. Um, we'll maybe address that once we get back, see if there's something we could do to improve that cooling system just a little bit more. But, you know, short of doing a crazy drive like what we're doing today, this is way more than what anybody would normally put a classic car through so you know something to look into but not necessarily something i'm all that all you know upset about or scared about but um i think we're going to try to get some miles on us tonight we're going to get out of pensacola and start heading back north because we got to make a long haul from pensacola back to atlanta tomorrow 
Um, and we need to get there early enough because I actually have tickets to do laps around the track. And supposedly there's also a opportunity to maybe make some drag passes at Atlanta. Which we might do. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for being here, people. We really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, it's a really, really cool experience to be able to share this with you guys, and we really do appreciate when you come up and you talk to us. Um, we're going to be with the DEI guys again tomorrow, and uh, if you see us and you want to come up and talk to us, we're absolutely willing to give you guys a conversation, sign stuff, shake hands, kiss babies, whatever the case may be, we're always here for you guys. Um, we, we really, really appreciate all the attention that the, that the AMX and the, the Pontiac have gotten. They're certainly not the prettiest girls out there. They're not the most expensive girls out there, but they're a lot of fun and we really, really enjoy them. We're glad you guys enjoy them too. So thanks again. Uh, we'll see you guys in Atlanta. Take care. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, yeah. Hi ho, hi ho. We're finally going north. Closer to home. See you tomorrow. Well, folks. Let's take a fork in uh, Pensacola. Good day here at Hot Rod Power Tour day four. Uh, Jim and I both made it perfectly fine. No real issues with the AMC or with the Pontiac. Everything is good to go. Uh, the only thing we're really ever battling at all really is when we stop the Pontiac sitting idling, it does tend to get a bit hot. Um, we'll maybe address that once we get back, see if there's something we could do to improve that cooling system just a little bit more, but you know, short of doing a crazy drive like what we're doing today, this is way more than what anybody would normally put a classic car through. So, you know, something to look into, but not necessarily something I'm all that all, you know, upset about or scared about. But um, I think we're going to try to get some miles on us tonight. We're going to get out of Pensacola and start heading back north because we got to make a long haul from Pensacola back to Atlanta tomorrow. Um, and we need to get there early enough because I actually have tickets to do laps around the track and supposedly there's also a opportunity to maybe make some drag passes at Atlanta which we might do we'll see anyway thank you very much for being here people we really appreciate you guys watching hope you guys have been enjoying the videos um, it's a really really cool experience to be able to share this with you guys and we really do appreciate when you come up and you talk to us um, we're gonna be with the DEI guys again tomorrow and uh, if you see us and you want to come up and talk to us, we're absolutely willing to give you guys a conversation, sign stuff, shake hands, kiss babies, whatever the case may be, we're always here for you guys. Um, we, we really, really appreciate all the attention that the, that the AMX and the, the Pontiac have gotten. They're certainly not the prettiest girls out there. They're not the most expensive girls out there, but they're a lot of fun and we really, really enjoy them. We're glad you guys enjoy them too. So thanks again. Uh, we'll see you guys in Atlanta. Take care, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, hi ho, hi ho, we're finally going north. Closer to home. See you tomorrow. On our way out of here, I just wanna say, these guys, Pensacola, their police, y'all had your shit together today, boys. We got through the town easily, we got into the venue easily, no drama. Very, very well done, guys. Very, very well done. Thank you very much for hosting a great event. We'll see you later. Really good time today. Um, got to run into our friends. I cannot remember their names. I am so horribly embarrassed by that. My apologies, guys. Uh, with the, the Monte Carlo and the C10, uh, the story on that C10, I'm hoping that I will see them tomorrow uh, just to get some better video of it. He owns a shop, bought it off the original owner who basically brought it to him and said like, hey, you, uh, you need a shop truck. And it is the original bumper from AJ Foyt Chevrolet in Houston, Texas from 1969. Amazing story on that. I was super pumped, a little geeked. I got to talk to John Craman from the Meekum Auto Auctions. Um, JK, super cool guy, really down to earth. The thing that was cool and what I had talked to him about was, you know, both the, the Meekum Auctions as well as, as this show and I touched on this a little bit earlier, is seeing that there's still a passion out there for cars, that there's a group of, a younger generation that's still in.
adventure with Mr. Ellich Wood. Like I said, it was a great conversation that I had with him yesterday. We talked a bit about uh, his start and cars and everything. So that was nice. And I got up there, he's like, you know, we never took a picture yesterday. I said, that's really what I came by for. And, uh, he was more than happy to oblige. Super awesome guy. Uh, if you ever get a chance to meet him, take the two seconds to say hello as long as he's not busy. Uh, I also want to say hi to some of our YouTube fans that recognized me. Uh, that was super cool. I, I feel very special. I, I don't stick out in a shiny cowboy hat, but it was, you, you made me feel listened to, so thank you for that. Uh, like I said all along, my goal is to, to inform and entertain, and I'm really happy to be on this trip. It was good meeting y'all. I'll talk to you soon. You know, it's really annoying. When you drive that way to go to an event, and the sun rises in the east, so it comes in the window, and it burns your left shoulder, and then you leave the event in the evening to go north, so the sun's in the west, so it comes in the window, and it burns your left shoulder. I'm like mid-rare, I'm getting there to medium. Probably should have done sunblock. But, at least it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day here. Gorgeous day. Like that. 